guys at home, good morning from AR2 TV and I welcome you once again to today's edition of Open Heaven Outline. My name is still remain John C. Nawani. The topic before us this morning is the essence of spiritual office. The essence of spiritual office. And the Bible reading is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 8 to 14. And memory verse from the book of Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. He says, and he gives some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and to some he gave teachers. Now, when God calls a person into a spiritual office, it is because there are roles he wants such a person to play in the scheme of things as regards to God's agenda for man on earth. When God calls a man, he calls a man according to his own purpose. Now, spiritual gifts are not just for accumulating titles or occupying positions. If you are called into a spiritual office, you are called to serve God and to be a blessing to lives. Thank God for today's open heaven. If you have been called to be a pastor, your responsibility is to raise a church and care for the spiritual needs of those God had placed in your trust as a pastor. Now, the Holy Spirit in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, gave this mandate to those he has set over them as a pastor. He says, preach the word. Be instant in season. Out of season. He says, rebuke Reproof, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. As a pastor, God has called you to preach the word to the people. Are you an evangelist? You are a preacher and you are a messenger of truth, of the true gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. As an evangelist, you are to declare the entire counsel of God wherever you go the word of god should not be watered down because of the presence of certain people in your audience you can read the book of jeremiah chapter 1 verse 8 today a lot of people teachers pastors they are watering down the word of god maybe just to please some people what about if you are a teacher if you are a teacher of the word you have been gifted by the holy spirit of god to explain the word of God in order to build and to equip the church. That is the sole purpose. You are to communicate the biblical truth effectively to the understanding of your hearers. You are to communicate the word of God effectively, not removing anything and not adding anything. Are you occupying the office of a prophet? God has authorized you. To speak on his behalf not to please yourself but to speak only the mind of God these offices are meant to complement one another for the perfecting of the saints and to edify the body of Christ the offices are to be used together for the unity of the church so that God's people can come to the full knowledge of him but it's so surprising that today a lot of people using their calling to fight each other. It has become a competition in the body of Christ. But thank God for today's open heaven that has opened our eyes of understanding. And God expects us, just in case we've gone out of the way, God expects us to come back on track and fulfill that mandate. The prayer for, from me to you today is that the grace of God in your life will not be in vain. Shall we bow down our head as we pray briefly? Father, Lord, I pray for your people that the grace that is upon their life will not be in vain. The calling that is upon their life will not be in vain. The grace, O oh God, to carry out and to do exactly what you have called them to do. Father, release upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
You've been called to preach the word of God, to preach the good tidings. As you go out today, make sure you preach to someone. You never can tell what you're doing. You can save a life today. God bless you. And this is ART TV. See you once again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Open heaven.